been meaning to do this for a while, but uh, there's been a fair number of people I've seen that have done flight vlogs, but they're all people that are further on in their careers and they're more established, have more hours, they're on bigger airplanes. How many people have done stuff to talk about your first job when you're flying or and what that can be like? So that's where I'm hoping to add a little more to the conversation. Uh, so this, I'm not too sure exactly how the pacing and everything is going to work out with this, but I'll be talking about what uh, the uh, a first job can be like and what flying up in the north can be like. Uh, unfortunately today I've actually got a really good place for, for us to start this out with. Um, we're going way up north to a place called Hope Bay, uh, which is just right on the northern coast of uh, continental Canada, so anything past that is going up onto uh, the islands that are up that ways. Um, should hopefully have some good shots of what's going on up there. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, get the planes already pre-flighted and ready to go on that side, so now it's just time to load up and get going, and well, hopefully we'll have a good trip for you guys. Unfortunately, my GoPro was deciding to misbehave and it uh, was not charging, or rather not recording when it was charging off the USB cable. So it was kind of a bit of hit and miss in figuring out when to record and then charge and then record again. Um, hoping to have that sorted out for anything in the future. Uh, as for where we're going on this first trip, so Hope Bay is a gold mine that's up in the Contiguous region. Bought out by Agnico uh, Eagle uh, back in February of just this year. Um, they've been operating for, I believe that was since 2017. Actually, no, sorry. Uh, it's been going for uh, close to 30 years now for Hope Bay. Uh, apparently, our company used to actually fly up there fairly frequently, uh, but that kind of tapered off at least the time up until I got here. So it was really cool that we had these trips going on. As for why we're going up there, we've gotten permission to use Hope Bay as an airport for other uh, companies that are operating up in the area. So they're letting us use their airstream to fly people in and out of there uh, with the terrible, terrible tax of having to bring a couple boxes of stuff up to the mine itself whenever we're going up there or something to that end. And you'll find a lot of stuff like that in operations up there where there's a number of privately owned strips for mines and uh, other operators that you otherwise normally wouldn't be able to fly into. But just by virtue of knowing the right people and asking the right questions, you can potentially get permission to use those strips uh, for your purposes for a limited amount of time. So obviously, it's usually not unlimited access to those. It's very, you have to get permission every time that you want to send an aircraft up there. Um, so I'm not too sure how long we'll be going in and out of Hope Bay, but yeah, really neat that we're able to do those.
we go. That's one trip in the bag. Got back from Hope Bay just now. Uh, plane is basically tidied up. And now we just need to gas up and get ready to go for the second trip we've got today. It's going to be up to uh, Gatchaque and Hay River, then back to Yellowknife, and hopefully done for the day at that point. Well, there we go another day another dollar plane is put to bed it's outside right now being decontamined and that is basically it for the time being uh, unfortunately i didn't get much for the stuff going into gachiqui my uh, gopro decided it didn't want to charge properly so there'll be a little bit there but uh, i'm afraid i couldn't get more for you guys and uh, yeah we'll have to figure out a better format for this afterwards so that it works a little better later on